found it safe Surrounded by the faces that he places faith The images visit from the past he witnessed Can't stay away from the memory Sticks with each detail Embedded in stone Like he chisels those convictions into his bones The progress stops and pauses Spits and sputters like the basement faucet And it's obvious he's lost in his regrets You can smell it on his breath Many years ago, a Greek philosopher wrote that language is what distinguishes man from animals. People use language to express themselves in various ways. Some people write, others sing, while others speak out. There's another group of people that express themselves through the art of painting. Their ideas, thoughts, and feelings can be found on various walls around the world. Street culture and graffiti are well known for being appealing, bold, and uncompromising. Originally, they were used by gangs to mark their territory in some urban area. Graffiti have now become a rich medium for unrestricted expression of ideas and statements. This form of art traces its roots to ancient Greece and the Roman Empire. Creative designers and artists across the globe now use this form of art to deliver their message and showcase their work. In the past, Urban gangs and young teenagers painted graffiti murals and covered cities with self-invented signatures of names known as tags. In some cases, artists performed extremely elaborate murals only to pay their respects to a deceased person. Such graffiti occurred after the deaths of American rappers Tupac Shakur and Notorious B.A.G. Some graffiti are humorous they make people laugh, and in that laughter, there's reality about our lives. Some graffiti sarcastically call for change in our society. And some artists weave their message satirically. Literally, people may not understand the intended meaning, but if you observe in a careful way, there is a voice for you. If you make history, you'll be mortalized on our walls. Graffiti may be about identity. Who are you? What do you see when you look into the mirror? Your eyes are the windows through which you let the world into your life. It does no matter what you see, but how you interpret what you see is what matters most. Happiness is a choice, and your eyes can confirm that. You may not choose everything that happens in your life, but you definitely choose your feelings. Patrick Mukabi, an artist at the Godown Art Center, says, Graffiti artist works, um, he vandalizes the space. He works without permission, and he, he yeah, he destroys, like, property. Uh, mu uh, for murals, it's a commission. It's a commission which means you are given a space, and then you, in the space, you can do something. You know, like, you paint, you're given permission to work with the painting. Though in most places, graffiti is widely regarded as illegal, some artists beg to differ. Ngachir, an artist at the Go Down Art Center, says that graffiti is true and it can express negative aspects of society, such as hatred, racism, and harm to others. Today, there are several types of graffiti usually done by different individuals. One such type of graffiti is political in nature, along with other social commentary. These paintings are usually done by individuals or groups who have something worth saying but don't have the resources to express themselves in a legal manner. They then opt to spray walls in public places and in private places, believing that the intended audience will understand them. The factor of money and the will to be free from censorship are the only things that separate these writers from the other writers in the media. So next time when you see graffiti on the walls, do not dismiss it. Take time to analyze the markings to reveal the motive behind it. Spirits used to be for celebration, but now they just take them away from the hell that's waiting. Re up until it's three sheets up and
pick a place for the skeletons to meet up. Ain't no color paint gonna cover the stains, but if the oxygen escapes, it'll smother the flames. No.